So now let us see how uh, uh, we got another option to set a color to a item. Oh, that is the color state list. Now, as you can see, the name color state list this shows that for different states uh, we can set, we can assign different colors. So when the button is pressed, we can say uh, this color uh, comes for the button, and when it is in the normal state, uh, we can assign some other color to the button. So I'll just uh, comment this. I'll just take this off. Right. So how do we create a color state list? Now we got an option. We can create a color state list in the Java code, or we can even create a color state list in the XML file. So let us see how we can create this in the XML file. We'll have to create a new folder called color. And within this color folder, we'll create a new file. The top level tag as selector. Mm. I'll say my color. So now within this selector tag, we'll add items and we'll say what is the Android uh, state. Suppose we want to set for pressed. Android color is equal to let's say red and when it is not pressed uh, we'll just uh, set for a default item color is equal to say green so we, uh, you can set any number, you can uh, set for a focus state, uh, enabled state, there are many kind of states that uh, that is there in uh, Android, you can set for any state and set a color for it and accordingly uh, that will be set to the item. Now let us apply this to the uh, button text color, uh, let's say, now, color. So this is it. So to the text color of the button we have applied my color then to the uh, uh, even all right we'll only try on a single button. All right. So we'll just run this. So the default color we have given as green and when the button is in a press state the color goes to red. So it comes to green and when I press the button the text changes to red. So this is how we can have different colors for different states through a color state list. Now same thing we can do uh, through the uh, Java code. Now uh, we will just review what we have done. We have created a new folder called color, created a new XML file in this a top level tag of selector and then two items for different states. So now uh, we will first remove the uh, XML file assignment to this. and then in the java code we'll say color state list now it requires two parameters one is a two dimensional array for states and another single uh, one dimensional array for stating colors Android dot R dot attribute 
डॉट स्टेट से प्रेस्ट ओके एंड ना हाउ डू वी गिव अ स्टेट विच इज नॉट प्रेस्ट और अ स्टेट विच इज ऑपोजिट टू प्रेस्ट वी सिंपली राइट अ माइनस बिफोर अ स्टेट प्रेस्ट माइनस विल गिव मीन इट इज नॉट प्रेस्ट so this is it so we have again created the same uh, state uh, as we have done in the xml file now we have done uh, through the uh, java code so this is corresponding to the pressed state and this is corresponding to not pressed state so we'll have a color uh, array in colors is equal to Uh, we can say color dot. Uh, now we'll reverse uh, what we had earlier done. Uh, for pressed, we had earlier given red. Now we'll give green. And originally we'll give our red. So we set up both the arrays for uh, setting the states and corresponding colors. So we'll have a color state list CSL is equal to. new color state list we need to specify as you can see uh, with the constructor a uh, two dimensional int array and a single dimensional array so i'll pass the states colors or oh, we have seen the names are also same so this finishes this off and now we can apply this to the uh, oh, we have set to press so we'll take the button um, button p find view by id and button id is button 1 so we'll say r dot id dot button 1 and just import this oh spelling mistake so now we'll say b dot set text color and we have csl so this is how so we have uh, created a new color state list object passing in the various states passing in the various colors and we have set it to the button so we'll again uh, run the app to see how this shows an effect so now the default color uh, is red and on click is green so this is how we can use to assign different colors for different states uh, both program uh, while your program java code as well as in the xml file